hey 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 back with another one and i'm gonna do some more toilet paper so now that christmas is over i have some a few leftovers as far as the toilet paper for christmas is concerned right so my thought is let's go ahead and turn them into something different so i was really gonna do um anti-valentine's day but i got a whiff of this and so I said, let me do this one, but I have a few others that I got. So I'm going to do a couple on camera. Is this it? Yeah. All right. So is that one? These are so funny. That one's cool. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do this one. Look at that. That's so cute. All right. So let me resize this. 3.5 by 3.5 there we go all right it looks smaller than the other one but it actually is the same this one is just more vibrant and all so I may get another one it got a I think that one's so funny too um this is more Valentine-ish day-ish I don't know about that one Maybe that one, because I know you can be a little, ah, that one's cute. Um, How about this one? This is cute. So for this one, the reason why I'm not taking out the white background is because the toilet paper is white, so I don't have to. So all I have to do is just resize it. Again, it's 3.5, 3.5. And let's see. But like in this case, remember that there's white that I didn't take out. So if it goes up too far into the other uh, project, then it's going to cut it off. So just I'm trying to bring it as close as possible so I can make room and do um, two others because I don't want to um, not use all of the sublimation paper. I definitely don't want to waste anything. What's at the top? All right. Hello, sweet cheeks. Hello, sweet cheeks. I like this one too. It's cute. So I'm grabbing it. 3.5. 3.5. Hello, sweet cheeks. So actually, I might be able to do one. Nope. Maybe two more. Maybe I can do two more. I could potentially make this bigger because of the white background. So that leaves a little bit more room on the toilet paper because of the actual writing. So the size is taken into the account, the white background. So that's why I'm making this a little bit bigger so that the wording is bigger. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Make it a little bit bigger. Bring it over a little bit. I'm cutting it real close. Cutting it real close. I'm trying to use as much of the paper as I can. I think that's cool. That's cool. See, it's coming off of the paper down here, but it's white, so I don't care. The toilet paper is white, too. All right, so let me see if I can fit one more in here, at least at minimum. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can do this one. So let's make it, so this one's going to have to stay 3.5 by 3.5. All right, so, so now this is getting in the way of that one. So let me see if I can, all right, I might not be able to do all this. It's like not enough room. So then I got to make sure that the, um, Let's see. That's pretty close. All right, I'll leave that there. See if I can turn this around. See if that will help. Doesn't look like it. Because it's all crazy. So it looks like this might be it. If I have, oh, don't want to go into that one up top. So if I had another project, I could potentially put it here, but I don't. Not off the top of my head right now. 
So this might be it. Because I don't want to go off the paper. Okay, I can't do this one. All right, maybe I'll do that one instead of this one this time. I probably won't do all these on camera, but as far as um, for advertising, I think people might like this one. So let me make this a little bit bigger. Move it over. Move it down, actually. So sublimation, so everything's got to be flipped. So I'm flipping it horizontally. And let's see if when I hit print, what it looks like. Make sure it's all on the page. It's cutting the top. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I'm going to bring this one down a little bit. Or the rest of them are fine. Because I have so much room anyway. I don't have to have it all the way to the tippy tippy top. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to make sure that it doesn't get cut off, I'm going to bring that down. Let's go back to taking a look at the print. So yeah, there's plenty of room there. I could conceivably pull that one down. So that's good. That's good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and print it to the sublimation printer. I still have my um, saved settings in here. I'm going to use this one, print it, and I'll meet you all over at the uh, heat press. All right. So here's all the Christmas ones that I still have. I only have four of them, so this is perfect. So this is the plan. I actually think I can still use this top because it is February, or it's about to be February, so it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas themed. Even though I'm gonna go find some pink for uh, Easter that's coming up. So that's next, I'm gonna start looking for some items for Easter, potentially St. Patrick's Day. So this is a reuse. We're gonna reuse this. We're gonna reuse the ribbon. We're gonna reuse this. So I went in three pieces for this, right? So I'm just gonna pull this off, obviously. Because we don't. I could have kept this though. Here's your crappy gift. Well, what's done is done. So I'm gonna go in two this time. And uh, to try to keep as much toilet paper as possible. Ooh, that one came off and same thing with this one and reuse the paper we gotta do what we gotta do so we're gonna take a uh, frosty off and then we'll go into here so I just printed this came out so I'm gonna definitely do FGB Um, and the gnome one for sure, because it's like Valentine-ish. So, I got those out of here. So, let's. So here is the butcher paper. So I'm going to do it on the second piece. Let's see, one, two, there's a second piece. Got my tape right here. Let's see, and got my tape right here. So let's see, that's the second piece. That's the second piece. It starts here. I gotta make sure it's centered. There we go. This is actually a pretty good size, it looks like. So let me do some tape. So don't forget to, all right, this is in the way. Tape onto the butcher paper and not onto the toilet paper. And then I gotta get the top piece. Your 
Ugh. I keep all these scraps for such an occasion. So this is to protect again the top. I have my heat press set on 460 seconds and it's gonna be um, high pressure. So I gotta turn this up cause this ain't, that's not high pressure. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I will come right back I don't want to sit on for 60 seconds, okay? Ooh. All right. Ooh. Smoke it, smoke it. All right, so let's see what we got. It's looking like it probably did a good job because it's looking, look, it's on here. That's why you need this. So. There you go. Absolutely. There you go. So I'm gonna roll it back up. So roll, 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 roll. There we go. So I'm gonna put it back in the plastic bag. Remember, throw nothing away. <clears throat> there we go. Twist it up. And then I'll put the piece of string back around it. I might could find a Red, white, and blue, that might be better, but we're going to work with what we got right now. Done deal. Done deal. Up in the shop. Okay, so I doubled this up because, like I said, it came through onto here. So I'm using this piece, then I'm putting this piece over top of it because I obviously don't want it to come through. So I'm going to do this, this one right here. So again, it's the same thing. Here's the first sheet right there. So actually, I'm gonna move this over a little bit so that we're more in the middle. Put this down. Check the bottom where the writing ends. It could stand to come down a little bit. So this one should be cool too because it's colorful, really colorful. So let me put this down here. So the um. The 60 seconds at 400 with uh, deep pressure is perfect. It worked out really good. So I had another sheet of paper. I'm going to fold it over and put it over top because again, I don't want it to come out on the top. So I'm gonna put that there. This is for protection from here. Since this is already pasted on there, I should be good for ghosting purposes. So this is basically for protection. So I'm gonna do the same thing for 60 seconds and I'll come back um, as soon as it's expiring so we can take a look at it together. Ooh. All right. Yeah, it came out on this one too. So just be careful when you're doing these, if you do them, that you're covering everything up so nothing comes out and bleeds on your items, so. Here we go. That looks good. Looks pretty good. So let me roll it on up, roll it on up. So I don't have to have this toilet paper just sit here until next Christmas. Use it for the next whatever reason, because this is just for gag gift purposes. There could be any reason that people may want this for their um man bathrooms, right? That's, that's what comes to mind. Sit it on the back of the toilet seat. Here we go. It's back in this same paper. Turn this around, it's easier. Back in the same paper, twisting it up, and I don't see the wrap for it, but I'll get it and then I'll wrap it up. Real quick video, similar to what we already have done, just so if you made some that were Christmassy, we can just go ahead and get some different designs and go ahead and do them up and for the next holiday and or 
just to do something in addition to what you already have. So stuff doesn't just sit here till a year from now for next Christmas, okay? Let me know if you guys have any comments. I appreciate you stopping by. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing the video, and I'll see you in the next one.